The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is probably the most modular piece of tech that I've ever seen. So let's talk about all the best accessories that you can use to turn this into more than just a phone. Okay, so first off, let's start off with the easy ones. The Samsung Galaxy Watch, I love this little thing. We've I've got a whole video on it by itself, so I'm not gonna delve too far into it today, but if you need a smartwatch, I prefer having a smartwatch of the brand of phone that I'm talking about. So the way we're gonna structure this video is we're gonna start from just the phone and we're gonna build it out into the different configurations that I think I'm gonna use this in. And this kit specifically is a kit that I'm about to take with me like the day after this video goes live on a one week business trip. And this is gonna be the only computer I'm gonna take. So I'm really excited to check this stuff out. First off, I've got everything in this bag from a company called Tripped. You don't have to get this one, but I would recommend a tech bag because there are a lot of things involved in this, um, which is pretty great. So first off, we're gonna talk about the minimum configuration that I think you could use to get actual work done. Obviously, the phone by itself, if you wanna use it as just a phone, uh, just get a case. I personally won't because I like to live dangerously and I think the 24 in its natural state is so good. But two things off the bat, if you wanna take this from a phone to like a straight up note taking for class or even business conferences, first off, you need some kind of a little stand. These things are incredible. This is just a little plastic stand. It weighs next to nothing. It came with this keyboard that we'll talk about in a second, but all you really need is just something to hold the phone up. What I found with the Ultra specifically, the screen is almost as big as a tablet, right? You don't have to set it horizontally. You don't have to buy other things to get it up and back. Just in its natural state, it works really well with just a little kickstand. And then you can get something like this travel Bluetooth keyboard that takes this and team, I'm not kidding. I've written some of my YouTube video scripts so far just on this alone. This right here is so powerful. I don't even know the purpose of a tablet anymore. With all my YouTuber hyperbole aside, this right here uh, is fantastic. If you do nothing else from this video, the bare minimum to turn the S24 Ultra into a legitimate productivity device better than just about anything. But if we do wanna take it a little further, Let's go. Let's say we have a meeting that we want to direct or we want to participate in straight from the Ultra. Something you can add to this kit is the Logitech MX Anywhere 3. This little mouse is like a companion to my favorite mouse of all time, the MX Master 3, and it's pretty darn good. It doesn't have all the same functionality. Obviously, it's a smaller mouse, but you still get a very nice scroll wheel. You get customizable buttons here on the side. I've been using this via Bluetooth. You get three customizable settings in here. It charges via USB-C. This mouse is fantastic. I've used the Logitech Pebble before in the past, but once you use this, there's no going back. And then if you're in a meeting and you need to hear things, the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 are also really really darn good. The thing you may notice in my videos talking about the S24 and all of this Samsung stuff is Samsung's ecosystem, I think is on par or better than Apple's depending on the circumstance. The only thing I don't like about the Galaxy Buds, the repairing process is a little more difficult than on something like the AirPods. The AirPods have a button you just press and it happens. Here you have to put them in your ears and then like unpair them and then re it, it's kind of a pain, but they're still really good. The audio quality is great. Noise cancellation is okay. It's not class leading by any stretch of the imagination, but it's good enough. Combine this together. Look at what we've got right here. This is an actual productivity collaboration tool now. This isn't like, oh, you got to do all these asterisks or you've got to, you know, use it in a weird way. No, straight up this by itself, you can work anywhere in the world with these things right here. It's remarkable. But let's say you've got to take it a step further. Now we've got to charge it because we've got to power some other devices. I think the best charger for the S24 Ultra and one of the best ones that I've used period is the Samsung super fast charging adapter. I do kind of wish it was a little more modular, but this has power that can be provided 65 watts, 25 watts, both of those USB-C or 15 watts for USB-A. Three devices for one outlet. That's like if you're traveling, it's always hard sometimes to find multiple outlets. Boom, you gotta get something like this. You need this power to set up something else. We've also got cables which have specific uses. I didn't just put cables in here for the sake of it. We've got a cable that came with something and then we've got a cable from Anker. But let's say you wanna take this from mobile productivity into actual productivity. You could get a portable monitor. This is a portable monitor from a company called Uperfect and it's crazy lightweight, it wasn't that expensive, and you can take these cables and these pieces and parts, and you can turn this, no kidding, into a laptop. Boom, look at that, can you see, look at this. 
I'm not kidding when I say now you've gone from having a phone to having a laptop. You've got the mouse, you've got a keyboard. Check this out. Accessory, accessory video test. Okay, boom. Look at this craziness. And then another accessory that I kind of got a little overexcited about is bring some kind of a travel mouse pad with you. This is a traveling mouse pad from Corsair. It rolls up and fits in backpacks like super small. And then when you get to where you're going, you just roll it out. There are smaller ones, better travel ones out there, but I like a little bit of a bigger mouse pad and I like neoprene. I don't like some of those other ones we've tried out here in the past, but look at this. From this kit that fit in that little bag, we've got a literal laptop with us. This screen is bigger than a MacBook Air 13 inch, and it's just about as big as a MacBook Air 15, and it weighs more than a pound less than my 15 inch MacBook Air. So that means you're carrying less. It costs less than a hundred bucks compared to how expensive a MacBook Air is. All of this stuff together just lets you build and build and build. And once we put this all together, you got to carry it around somewhere, right? So once you're all packed up and ready to go, you now need a bag to put this in. And unfortunately, team, my Lenovo bag has died. Years later, my $15 Lenovo backpack has died. So now we're gonna put this all in the Briggs & Riley travel laptop backpack. This bag is so good. It's very expensive. Like, don't let me lie to you. This bag is crazy expensive, but this might be the best travel laptop bag I've ever seen. You can see here, it's just constructed really well of their ballistic nylon. You've heard me talk about this in the past if you've watched previous accessory videos, but the stitching on here is so good. The zippers are all great, and you I am a zipper snob, like straight up without any hesitation or embarrassment. What I like most about this bag is in both compartments, the front and the back, you get a ton of space. So you get this gigantic compartment here in the front that can fit the tech bag and all of your other accessories, but here in the back, the main like laptop part opens so far up. Look at that. It's almost like a little suitcase, which easily, easily fits my mouse pad and my portable display. Boom, boom. I actually would not leave that like this. This would get rolled up like I showed you earlier. Zip up the front. Boom. It is ready to go. And listen to this. Listen to the zipper. Mm, I love zippers. This also fits with other luggage, that's the reason I bought this specific bag, where you can put it on a roll uh, carry-on bag, or you can carry it, or you can just use it as a regular backpack. Again, the point of this is the S24 Ultra is so modular. It can go from just a regular phone, you're watching YouTube videos, whatever, to portable productivity, to actual productivity, and you could, we're not gonna do it here, because this is all about the accessories that I'm gonna use on a trip here soon, but you could also plug this thing into a dock, and into a straight up home computer. This is super versatile and these are all the accessories. This is so versatile, I could talk about this for days at a time. But what about you? Did you buy the S24 Ultra or any of these Samsung Galaxy phones? What are your favorite accessories? Let us all know in the comments below. And if you like this video, click here to see all of my favorite tips and tricks for the S24 Ultra. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.